All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. I got my earbuds in. I got my dust mask over there. We're going to get to work today. Try to get a lot done on the 65. So hopefully I'll hang out for that. It should be more than just sanding. I should get some primer sprayed and we'll just keep pushing on until this thing's done. Y'all hang out. Here's where all the repairs were. And I've gotten past all the, see how there's cracks like that. Gotten past a lot of that. This still has to come on down. I wanted to show you something I thought was notable. Bondo has flaked off this. Like it was not sanded at all. It's shinier, glossier than any other paint on the car. Um, so I got to take this way on down, fix all those dudes, but that's wild. I was able to get my, get my hammer and dolly back there, tap most of that out. That's just going to take a little skim coat now. I'll grind back over it, uh, with my 80 grit and maybe 40, then smear me some on.
Went in and got my other coat on that stuff. Had some little pinholes, whatever. I uh, went over that. I'm going to let this stuff dry really good. Um, I still need a hand sand this and that top piece. I'm going to get all that stuff prepped so I can shoot this thing primer today. Here, there, top, other side. Let's knock it out. Let this primer dry good. It's uh, it's looking better. Any of my little bodywork spots, I wanted to go ahead and shoot over. I I'd mixed up a lot of primer, and this is just gray that I had. It's Summit brand also. The stuff that I bought for this car is buff colored because I think that red, when I go back red, will cover over the buff a little easier. So the other day I shot my gray over these spots stuff like this I'm gonna go ahead and block this again probably block everything that is um, been primed gray you can see like this looks better but little stuff like that probably won't block out I'll try to block it but I've got some more uh, my glazing putty little ugly spots like that they'll get glazed over blocked little tiny this sort of stuff that, that'll still show up in your paint so something's got to be done with it those were a couple pinholes in that spot that i wiped there but that turned out nice uh my stuff back here turned out really nice this is a pinhole i want to say these pinholes may have been from even previous work that just got uncovered so i'll get those filled in there's one little down there where i worked on my cellulite uh this curve is a little funky here and i need to do something with it i don't want to spend a lot of time on it uh but i can get that built out and just kind of squared up because if you're looking at a car and it's got a nice hard line and then it goes wavy and then it goes like people will instantly see that um so yeah getting that fixed fill in my pinholes i'm gonna go ahead and block all this again and I want to go ahead and shoot this whole section in buff today. Low. That's just barely low. I can't feel it with my glove or rag or anything like that. So I'm going to get those filled the other side. All this is dry now. Got those dried out. So I'm going to wipe that side, let it be drying, work this side. 
Keep moving. Look at there. I think white would look all right. I'm sure the owner won't go for it, but she's primed up, good solid coat. I'm going to let this stuff dry off. It may be a week or so before I can get back to it, but um, I might just leave this as is for a while. Go ahead and get the rest of the car into the primer before I do my final wet sand to paint everything. Uh, Leaving the hood on, that just a little lesson for me. Um, my arms are very long, but it's still just a little tiger striped in there. And I think I could reach it, but if that hood was off, it'd make my life a lot easier. I could do it in the trunk lid like I discussed before. But she's primed up. Um, looks pretty straight. Everywhere I could tell, I'll learn when I do that final blocking, but that's more progress. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll catch you next time.